So it is down to you, and it is down to me. By all means, if you want her dead, keep moving forward. Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You're trying to kidnap what I've rightfully stolen. Perhaps an arrangement can be reached. There will be no arrangement, and you're killing her! If there can be no arrangement, then we are at an impasse. I'm afraid so. I can't compete with you physically, and you're no match for my brains. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons! Really? Then I challenge you to the battle of wits. For the princess? To the death? I accept. Then pour the wine. Inhale this, but do not touch. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is eye cane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves instantly in liquid, and is among the more deadly poisons known to man. Mm. Oh. All right. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and we both drink and we will find out who is right and who is dead. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divide what I know of you. Are you the sort of man who would put the poison in his own goblet or his enemies? Now, a clever man would put the poison in his own goblet because he would know that only a great fool would reach for what he was given. I am not a great fool, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you would have known that I am not a great fool. You would have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You've made your decision then? Not remotely. Iocane comes from Australia, as everyone knows, and Australia is fully peopled with criminals, and criminals are used to people not trusting them, as I am not trusted by you, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going! Now, where was I? Australia. Yes, Australia. And you would have suspected that I'd known the power's origins, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're just stalling now. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you could have put the poison in your own goblet, trusting on your strength to save you. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've also bested my Spaniard, which means you must have studied. And in studying, you must have learned that man is mortal. So you would put the poison as far away from yourself as possible. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving something away. It won't work. It has worked! You've given away everything! I know where the poison is! Then make your choice. I will, and I choose. What in the world would that be? What? Where? I don't see anything. Well, I, I, I could have sworn I saw something. No matter. What's so funny? I'll tell you in a minute. First, let's drink. Me from my glass, and you from yours. wrong. You only think I guessed wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched the glasses when your back was turned. Aha, you fool! That you fell victim to one of the classic blunders. First, never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less is this. Never get involved with a Sicilian when death is on the line. Ha 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 Who are you? I'm no one to be trifled with. That's all you need to know. And to think, the poison was in your cup this whole time. I poisoned both glasses. I spent the last few years building an immunity to iron cane powder. We are reporting here live from the rock spot. We are he, Matthew, Matt, and Matthew. And we want to give thanks to every one of you that contributed to this project. Shout out Jesus, my mom, my dad. And Gandhi, we love you all. Thank you. That's a wrap.